Hey guys, quick video demonstrating the Windows command prompt. We're all familiar with interacting with Windows and our computer via the graphical user interface. So for example, we might use the file explorer to view the files that are in particular directories on our computer. We might use programs down here in the start menu and on our taskbar in order to modify those files or make changes or rename or delete the files. However, there's another input method for your computer that you may not have seen before, and it's called the Windows Command Prompt. To access the Windows Command Prompt, you click on the Start menu, you start typing the first few letters of command, and you'll see the command prompt will pop up as a match. We click it, and it will open up the Windows Command Prompt. Now, there's a more modern version of the Windows Command Prompt called PowerShell. We access it by clicking on the Start menu and typing the first few letters of PowerShell and clicking on the app. You'll notice that the two of them look pretty much the same in that they are prompting you for a command to be entered. So they, in most respects, they do work the same. So today we're just gonna focus on the Windows command prompt here. So the command prompt works by letting you type in a particular command and then pressing enter and then displaying the results or output of that command. So over on the right in the file explorer, we've navigated to my C drive to the temp folder and we've viewed the readme.txt file here. If we wanted to do the same in the command prompt, we would want to first navigate to the temp folder and we would do that by using the change directory command or abbreviated CD. Now this command requires an additional parameter. You are changing directories, but you need to know where to change it to. And if we looked over here and clicked in the address bar, we could see that it's the C colon backslash temp directory. And if we wanted to, we could type in the full path, C colon backslash temp, and it would take us to the temp directory. Alternatively, we could have just typed CD backslash temp, and it would have taken us to the temp directory also. Either way would work. Now that we're currently in the temp directory, we can use the dir command to list the contents of the directory, and it shows us the readme.txt file, the same as we see over here in File Explorer. Now what I've demonstrated is that you have various commands that you can enter in, and those commands can do a variety of things, such as listing the files on your computer, renaming, deleting, or even creating them. To find a list of the commands, you can always go to the Microsoft website, and I provided a link in the description of this video to this particular page, and here they show you a list of all the commands that are available in the command prompt. So if I scroll down to the C's, you can see that there's a CD command. Clicking on it will show you that CD displays the name of or changes the current directory. Down here we see the exact syntax, CD space, and then some parameters that you may ch choose to type in. The parameters in square brackets mean they're optional. So anytime you look through this, you'll see different uh, commands that you could enter in. You'll notice there's quite a few of them. So sometimes the best option is to go into Google and type in Windows 10 command prompt, how to change directory. And usually there's a website that will show you exactly what to do. In this case, you'll notice use the CD command right here. So back to the Windows command prompt. Each command is entered in and then press enter, or in some instances, you may enter the name of the command and add what's called a parameter, some additional information it needs to do its job, and then press enter, and you'll see the output from it. When you're done with the command prompt, you can simply type exit, or you can close the window, and that's it.